The internet is broken. If social media seems less fun and less useful, that's by design. Yep, that's what social media companies do. They sit around on their fat asses trying to design a less fun and less useful platform. The sad part is I'm not even sure if I'm being sarcastic with that statement. Once you see him, you can't see him. The social networks Americans use every day, they've been weaponized against us. Well, that's what you wanted, isn't it? Hate speech laws and censorship and big brother algorithms to watch over you. Well, there's a lesson in that. Be careful what you wish for. Pitting us against one another by exploiting our cultural and political weaknesses. Who put sand in her vagina? What weakness? You mean the fact that people don't always agree on politics? That's how democracies work. If we were all united under one party banner, that would be a one party tyranny. So who's doing this? People who do not understand nor support free speech. That's it. It's as simple as that. If you lay off the algorithms and the censorship, bad ideas get rooted out faster than a hobo at Victoria's Secret. It isn't one group, but a coalition with a lot of overlap. That sounds suspiciously like we're about to get a conspiracy theory. That's just weird. Including right-wing media. Mm-hmm. Tucker Carlson destroyed the internet. Hey, you can't cuck the tuck. Far-right online communities, homegrown hate groups, and hostile foreign actors. Yeah, that's not a conspiracy theory at all. Most notably Russian trolls. Damn those Russian trolls, am I right? Do they have like nuclear-powered cookie-cutter factories out there in Russia just churning these guys out there? Or are they more like mythical creatures being conjured into existence with magical spells? That might be more likely, don't you think? Seeing as how their existence is apparently impossible to prove. You know, there are people in Russia whose job it is is to try to exploit our systems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every country conducts cyber warfare. We probably do the same thing to them. But you're not talking about intelligence operations in this video. You're talking about trolls. See the importance of being specific, you fuckhead? And yes, this coalition includes Donald Trump and his administration. Of course it does. Any regressive video is incomplete until you've blamed Trump for it. whoop de doo and la-dee-da. Unfortunately, I killed her and buried her in the basement. Shame. Trump and his online army of supporters. You do realize he has a real army, right? Now try to follow me here. It's called the U.S. Army on account of him being president and all. You know, just, just in case you forgot. Feed off America's unresolved issues with race to divide Americans. That is fucking rich coming from you guys. If it wasn't for your constant race baiting, we wouldn't have Trump in office. You guys made this happen. Congratulations. What was that thing about being careful what you wish for again, asshole? And Russian trolls have aided that effort by running their own online influence operations targeting American voters. That's what the morons at the Rutgers Student Medical Center thought. You keep using that word trolls. I don't think it means what you think it means. Again, fuckhead, be specific and know your subject. Trolls are people who seek attention by trying to instigate conflict. They don't care about anyone's politics. They just want to fuck with people. What does this weaponization look like? I don't know, autism? Here are four main categories you should be aware of. False amplification. Yeah, don't you just hate it when that happens? I want my amps to be true, you know, like a marshal or a fender. That's attempting to make your view or movement seem larger than it is with bots or algorithmic manipulation. What are you saying here, actually? Are you saying that if you see that an opinion is very popular, you just adopt it? In that case, we would all be Venezuela hugging neo-Marxists by now because that's all the mainstream media is pushing. Spreading disinformation, aka fake news. Wait, are you sure you're not a Trump supporter? That's usually his talking point. You are fake news. Knowingly spreading and amplifying false information online. Yeah, well, see, the problem is that you consider anyone to the right of Stalin to have false information. The New World Order. Yep, that's the clip they went with. Online harassment. This includes bullying, doxing, or similar methods with the shared goal of intimidating others into silence. Otherwise known as SJW tactics. I wonder if there are any statistics about how many people have been fired as a result of an SJW outrage mob. Fanning the flames. Specifically, trolling for the purpose of inciting outrage, sometimes with different groups at the same time, with the goal of pitting them against one another. I urge you to see my previous point. If you weren't so easily offended and outraged all the time, 
controls wouldn't be able to goad you so easily, and the whole problem would be a non-issue, or a non-event event, if you want to be technical about it. Anyway, stop being offended and taking the bait all the time, and boom, trolls are out of business, problem solved. Women and people of color are disproportionately the target of weaponization campaigns. <sighs> of course. Okay, I have no reason to believe that's true, but let's assume it is. Why would that be? Could it be that you take the bait, you fucking moron? That's also by design. Yeah, you keep taking the bait and fishermen come back. What do you know? Can you please not do that in front of me? Doubt it. You're the main reason I'm on this stuff. The goal is to drive us away from civic participation entirely by intimidating us into silence and demobilizing us from civic engagement. Well, by that metric, they've failed monumentally then. You guys are louder than ever and you have a chokehold on the media. Good job, trolls. Of course, what you're talking about has never been the motivation of trolls. Which brings me back to my point about you not knowing what the fuck you're talking about. So what do we do about it? Stop being offended. Can social media be saved? I think so, but the key to fixing what's broken starts with the companies who created these platforms and allowed them to be gamed in the first place. Yeah, because God forbid people take responsibility for their own lives. That's not something we want. More censorship. That's the way to go. Consumers have been left to deal with fake news. You are fake news. Predatory political ads. Predatory political ads. What the fuck does that even mean? Targeted harassment. There are so many blocking tools on Twitter. You can even block specific words. How do you even accomplish being harassed these days? And data breaches largely on their own. Okay, I'll give you that one. They should make sure there are no data breaches. Agreed. We're dealing with systemic failures of the social media ecosystem, but the solutions offered often call on individuals to sort out their online experience for themselves. Woe's me, I have to sort out my own shit. I want someone to take care of it for me because I'm mentally four years old. The best way to fight back against weaponization? Insert your gun joke here. I need to know what your plans are. First we take Berlin, and then we circle around behind Poland and yell, surprise. Is to pressure the tech platforms. The only pressure they should be under is to provide equal opportunity and free speech. As a consumer, you have a lot of power. Welcome to capitalism. Right now, these companies, especially Facebook, are on the defensive. Because of mass consumer outrage. There you go with the outrage again, because it's worked out so great for you in the past. It's not like outrage started you down this road or anything. They're finally starting to make some changes, but toxic content still goes viral online constantly. Hey, moron! Fucking moron! Toxic content, and then she unironically shows the clip of Donald Trump slamming CNN. I don't think I could have proven my point any better than she just did for me. Good job. Now put the lotion in the bucket. We need to keep demanding that companies profiting from our time and attention foster spaces we actually want to be on, free from weaponization and toxicity. No, you mean free from free speech. Oh, and by the way, there is such a place. It's called the off switch. Try using it. You'll like it. I think it'll do wonders for your blood pressure. I believe that social media can be a force for good again. It's not supposed to be a source of good or bad. It's supposed to be a source of entertainment. Online communities should connect us, not divide us. <laughs> Social media should help Americans move forward to create a better society. Which is what the tech companies all claim they want. They'll claim whatever they think you'll want to hear, but their real goal is always to make money. I'm sorry you're too dumb to understand that, but uh, yeah, good luck with your Starbucks career. But we can't get there until they take responsibility for what's gone wrong. Take responsibility? What are you, responsibility shaming them? How about you take responsibility? How about that? To you, I say, stop whining! Well, that pretty much wraps things up, but before you go, let me tell you about the results from the question I asked in my previous video. So the question was whether you prefer a short intro or a long intro like I've traditionally had. So the result is that a slight majority said they preferred the new short intro. There was also quite a lot of you who said you don't really care either way. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick with a short intro unless I have something specific I want to discuss before the video gets going. So I'll just throw it in there sometimes if I have something important to say. Kind of the obvious solution really, but thanks for taking the time to let me know what you prefer. So with that said, Thanks for watching and see you next time. 
I guess that was worth seeing. What? That's, that's all you have to say?